The Mad Titan Thanos is one of the most formidable forces in the Marvel Universe, and we have known him for his conquests and triumphs. But we tend to look over the lows in his life. We see Thanos in a whole new perspective when we see him at one of his lowest of lows. It began as Thanos was traveling back to his home base at the Black Quadrant, when he was confronted by his only living biological son, Thane. But to his surprise, Lady Death was with his son. Lady Death had used Thane to get to Thanos as she felt that she had finally found someone worthy to be by her side. But secretly, she was trying to make Thanos worthy of her love again. As the cosmic entity of decay and destruction, Lady Death made Thanos ill which began deteriorating him. Thanos attempted to warn his son of the danger of Lady Death and how she shouldn't be trusted, but Thane only laughed as his father, only now after so many years, tried to give him fatherly advice. Being now bonded with the Phoenix Force, Thane sent out an energy blast that sent Thanos flying back, stripping him of his powers and making him now experience life as a mortal. The Phoenix Force is a cosmic entity that is the manifestation of the prime universe force of life. It is one of the most powerful beings in the universe with the capability of cutting and regrowing any part of the universe, or even to destroy it completely. With the Mad Titan stripped of his powers, Thane took his place at the throne, effectively dethroning his father and becoming King Thane. The roles were now reversed as Thane had everything to gain, as Thanos was kicked to the curb, having to fend for himself. Thane now felt appreciated for who he was. Little did he know, Lady Death was playing him like a puppet. Four weeks later, Thanos was on a decimated Titan, experiencing life as a mortal, needing to survive on a day-to-day -day basis by scrounging for food. He went out and caught himself a mug rat for dinner, and brought it back to cook and eat. After his meal, he went to bed, only to be woken up by a much larger and angrier mug rat, ready to attack him. Thanos was able to hold off the mug rat at the price of being bitten on the arm. Reaching for a rock while on the ground, he grabbed it and smashed its head, killing it and saving his own life. Thanos' arm was severely damaged by the bite of the Mugrat and needed to be covered up to prevent infection. And this pitiful state was only the start of his tremendous decline. As the night went on, his fire went out, leaving him exposed to the bitter cold of Titan. He went on to have a restless night as he tried to keep himself warm as possible to survive. Thanos became ill from eating the Mugrat and also from the bite. While out and about looking for his next meal, he ran into two other scavengers who felt that he was trespassing on their territory. This caught Thanos off guard as he felt like he was being underestimated by these scavengers. After all, he was a powerful conqueror who could even bring the mighty Avengers to their knees. One of the scavengers hit Thanos across the face, showing him mercy by leaving it at that. This only made Thanos angrier as he stated who he was. Jokingly, one of them said, yeah, and I'm Star-Lord, as the two proceeded to beat Thanos and loot him for what he had. He had gone from conquering worlds and being one of the most feared men in the cosmos to being beaten up by two common scavengers. Life had finally given Thanos as much as he could handle. As the two took the Mad Titan's helmet, they were spooked away by a beam coming from a spaceship above. It was none other than Thanos' brother Star Fox, along with Nebula and Trico, who came to the only person they knew who could defeat his son, Thane. They came in hopes that Thanos with his great power could stop Thane, but they began to realize that he had lost his powers. However, Thanos had been thinking about what he would do if he had the chance to get off Titan. Thanos knew that he needed to go to the Witches of Infinity at the edge of the universe to get his powers back. The old myth was that the witches would feed off of the souls of the gods and disperse them throughout the universe. Star Fox, Thanos, Nebula, and Trico eventually came to a black hole where Thanos said that they were. Thanos and Star Fox made their way into the black hole, and when they landed, they were greeted by the three witch sisters. Thanos came in demanding that they give him back his powers and threaten them if they didn't. However, this did not phase the witches whatsoever. Star Fox chimed in to take his chances to persuade them to grant Thanos his powers, again because of an imbalance in the universe from his nephew. They did not take Star Fox's use of his manipulative powers on them very lightly as they began to proceed to shock him. The sisters then explained to Thanos that those who chose to enter the Quarry of Creation, also known as the God Quarry, would have to face a trial to gain their soul again, and those who succeeded could regain their power. But if you fail, you will be frozen in eternity with those who came before and also failed. Thanos decided that this is the only way to stop his son, and proceeded to climb down into the Quarry to face his trial. His trial began with a handful of Avengers looking like they were doomed for destruction when Thanos and others came to their rescue. 
taking the evil head on, Thanos used his powers to fight off his foes, saving the day as an Avenger. Afterwards, back at the Avengers Tower, Thanos was greeted by Falcon, acting as Captain America, giving an update on the other Avengers. Thanos began to realize that something was off when Cap said something about Star Fox. He then saw past memories show up all over the monitors and began to understand that this was not real. Cap then reassured Thanos that this could be his destiny, and that he had everything that he needed to become a good person. Thanos finally understood that this was his trial, and that he was Thanos the Destroyer, and proceeded to decimate the Avengers with his old powers. Now back at it with his powers, he went back through the black hole to fight his son once again. One of the most epic battles was about to unfold between father and son, and the stage was now set for the two to settle their issues in combat. Thanos and Thane began to exchange blows one after another. No matter how hard either got hit, they retaliated with an even greater hit, till the fight had taken the two all the way back to the Quarry of Creation. Upon their arrival, the witches wasted no time to intervene and take away the Phoenix Force from Thane. Deprived of the Phoenix Force, Thane was no match for his father. Thanos grabbed his son by the throat and lifted him above the quarry. Thane begged for mercy from his father to spare his life, however Thanos had a better idea. He would let Thane live, but being so young and inexperienced, his trial would be a living hell for his son. Thanos then threw his son into the quarry, putting an end to his embarrassment of a son. Thanos had hit his lowest of lows, but in the end was able to secure his redemption arc and came out on top. But would this be a lasting lesson for the Titan? Or would it only fuel his ego, making him feel even more undefeatable? Let us know in the comments what you think, or if you wish that this showdown had ended differently. Thanks as always for watching, and until next time, have a marvelous day.